In this video, I'll show you how to express a sine and cosine wave as a single sine wave. This is part three in the series. The question reads, express y is equal to 3.46 sine omega t plus 2.28 cosine omega t as a single sine wave. To do this question effectively, you'll need to convert this term to sine so that you have an equation exclusively in terms of sine. And the relationship between cosine and sine is shown below. So let's rewrite this in terms of sine. We have y is equal to 3.46 sine omega t plus 2.28 sine omega t plus 90 degrees. To add two waves of the same frequency, these two terms have the same frequency, omega t, we simply find the resultant of the amplitudes representing those sine waves. So what I'll do next is rewrite these in terms of their amplitude and angle. The amplitude of this term is 3.46 and the angle, well there's no phase angle so we'll say at an angle of 0. And for this one we have an amplitude of 2.28 at an angle of 90 degrees. Now what we have to do is add these two vectors. We have to treat these as vectors. To do this, I'll draw out these two vectors on an x and y plane. This vector will be shown in blue, and this will be shown in black. Starting off with this one, we have 2.28 at an angle of 90 degrees. So this line here will represent 2.28 at 90 degrees. And 3.46 will be represented with this blue line and since it's at an angle of zero, we show it on the x-axis. So this is 3.46. To add these two vectors up, we'll use the tail to tip method, which means that I can take this vector and place it at the tip of the other, and our resultant vector will have its tip located up here. So this, shown in red, is the resultant vector, and its magnitude will represent the amplitude of the new sine wave and its angle will represent the angle or the phase angle of that sine wave. We'll need to use the Pythagorean theorem to figure this out because what we've created here is a 90 degree angle. This will be the hypotenuse so that will be represented as C. We have A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. This is one leg of the Pythagorean theorem. This is the other and that's usually represented as A and B. So we have 3.46 squared plus 2.28 squared is equal to c squared. We'll have to add these two terms up and square root. Let's go ahead and do that. The square root of 3.46 squared plus 2.28 squared, we end up with 4.14. 4.14, and given that these are three significant figures each, and the first number to be removed is a 3, we'll leave it at 4.14. That will serve as our amplitude for our new sine wave. And to find out this angle, we'll have to use trigonometric functions, namely tangent. Tangent theta is opposite over adjacent. Our opposite is 2.28. And our adjacent is 3.46. We'll have to tan inverse both sides that will give us our angle. So the tan inverse of 2.28 divided by 3.46 gives us 33.38 degrees. 33.38. Now remember, this is three significant figures. This is also three significant figures. Therefore, our answer will be 33.4 degrees. Writing this as a single sine wave, we have y is equal to 4.14 sine omega t plus 33.4 degrees. And there you have it. That is how to combine a sine and cosine wave as a single sine wave.